What is good, you guys? So today's video, this is something I've been wanting to do the past couple shows, but you know what? Royal Rumble, perfect time to jump right in. And this will be Spam Wrestling's official 2021 Royal Rumble prediction video. And we're going to kind of go through the matchups tonight. Well, on Sunday night. This is uh, going out probably today, Saturday. But uh, I'm going to go through the matchups and uh, kind of go over what predictions, uh, what I think will happen. Um, I know there's a couple rumored matches. I know Matt Riddle against Bobby Lashley for the U.S. title is supposedly going to happen, but as of this morning, uh, it's not official. So, I mean, if it does happen, I think Riddle will probably take the title and then they'll push Bobby hopefully into the main event scene, but but I don't, I don't know when that's going to happen, to be honest. They don't really talk about booking. And then we got Nia Jax and uh, Shayna against Asuka and Charlotte again. Um... I don't know if that's officially on the card or not yet, but I'll just quickly go over it. And uh, I do think that uh, Shayna and Nia will get the titles back. And uh, I think we'll have a Charlotte Hill turn, which, I mean, when they took the titles, I think that's what we kind of expected to uh, come this way. But from here on, let's go over uh, the Men's Rumble, the Women's Rumble, then we got Universal Championship, and we got WWE Championship. And we will start it all off with... Uh, let's start with the WWE Championship. So we're starting off with this uh, WWE Championship match. I, I'm very, well I'm not torn on this, like Drew better win, because I don't want Goldberg anywhere near this title, but I'm just not very excited for this unless Drew just absolutely kicks his head off. I think that's really the only way that this match will work out for me. And unfortunately from what rumors I've heard and speculation, this might not be the only time we uh, hear from Goldberg to, uh, at this show. So I don't know. I, let's just hope to God that Drew retains and Goldberg just fades into oblivion. But we know that won't happen. So uh, I don't know. I don't have many op um, optimistic things to say about this. But I will say this. I do predict Drew to retain. I do, fingers crossed, hope that Drew retains. But we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go now next into the last man standing match. So now the last man standing match for the Universal title, this one, it's what, the third, fourth time that KO's had a title shot at Roman? Which, like, not complaining, because KO always delivers, Roman always delivers, like, this whole match will be awesome. But the only thing that I, like, this is always my beef, like, I'd say KO has probably a 5% chance of actually winning the title. I don't, I cannot imagine that KO takes the title, especially, like, at the Rumble. Uh, it's just, Roman will not lose this title until WrestleMania, if that. So, I, I, I don't know. There's not much to talk about. Uh, but I do think it's going to be a pretty awesome match. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens. KO is going to absolutely destroy Roman, and then Roman's going to wreck him. So, it's just both these guys are going to totally tear it down. Uh, but beyond, like, beyond, like, the actual match itself, I don't think this one is too hard to predict. I think Roman will retain, and... I mean, he's just going to keep storming until uh, Mania, and then I think it's going to be interesting to see who wins the Rumble. I'm um, assuming this, the Rumble will be after this, so it will be interesting to see who wins the Rumble, and then uh, it could be somebody that takes a shot at Roman, or it could be somebody that takes a shot at Drew. We don't know yet, but I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities, and I'll dive into those in a little bit. But for now, prediction, Roman retains. All right, so now we're diving into the kind of the more unpredictable, and especially with this year's, uh, and especially the women's rumble right now, there is not a strong favorite. I, like they've been pushing Bianca, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just not sold that that's who they're gonna go with. So here's kind of where I'm looking at, and obviously, this is kind of the main ones that I think could potentially win, with a couple of surprises in the back that I'll go over. Well. I'll start with the surprises just to get them out of the way and then we can narrow down the field. So first off, she will not win it, but I think Melina could be in this match. I think she could be one of the surprise surprise factors in the match. Uh, I'm not sure, obviously, that's a guess, but I don't think she would ever win, but I think she could be in it. So let's get Melina out of this picture right now. The other one I think could be in it that nobody's talking about. I have not heard a single person mention this. I think Maurice could make a return. I mean... I don't know where she's at ring shape wise, but with everything going on with Mrs. and Mrs., uh, I could see them having a little spot for her right there. Um, obviously, the Miz is going to be the men's one, so 
Who knows? I just think that could be a possibility, but she will not win. Just, I think she could be in it. So now we got it narrowed down to the potentials. And the two that I think that would be surprise winners, I think Rhonda could return, but I... <laughs> probability of that I'd say is probably 40%. I don't think there's a very good chance of that, but I wouldn't rule it out. So I think, and I think she could win it like flat out. I think that would totally change the landscape of the wins division right now. We, they need Rhonda back, but I don't think it's likely. So I'm going to remove her from the equation now. So that leaves us down to, I think these are the likely winners and Becky, I don't know if she's ready to go yet. She's kind of I'd put her at like 60-65%, but I don't like the odds that she comes back. I mean, she just had a baby, so I cut her some slack. It'd be awesome. I just don't know if she's quite ready, so let's eliminate her from the equation. So that leaves us with this. Shayna Baszler, who I don't think it would make sense for her to win right now. Nia Jax, please God no. Uh, Natty might have the number 30 spot. I don't know what they're doing there, but so that really leaves us with four that I think, and also Lacey, I'm highly doubtful will win. So really it leaves us with three. So let's move these three into the equation. I think these three are the absolute most likely to win the women's rumble. Um, just based on like, we know they're going to be in it, uh, which is <laughs> kind of a problem with the women's rumble right now. But I think Bliss, it would make sense, although she just had a title shot. If she just, if she didn't just have that title shot, I would say there's a very high likelihood. Um, Bailey, obviously, I love her as champion, but she just came off that longest reign. So, I mean, all signs point to Bianca, and I know she's ready and she can handle it. It just doesn't seem like the way they're gonna go. I don't, I don't know. It's it, this is the most interesting match for me, just because I'm truly baffled at what their like what their plans are and the women's division's been weak like it's there's it's not a hidden it's not a hidden idea like it hasn't been good lately bianca's been the star lately bailey's been great alexa bliss has been crushing it on raw um but outside of that it's just not good like i mean oscar will always be good but they haven't booked her properly charlotte it's she it's great that she's back but they shouldn't have given her the tag titles. She should have turned on Asuka immediately instead of winning them. But, yeah, it's just the booking's been bad. So, I'm just curious to see. Uh, personally, my pick... No, honestly, screw it. My pick, Becky Lynch returns, wins it. That's what we need. Please, Becky. Please be ready. Uh, let's move on to the men's rumble. Okay, well, now uh, I kind of went a little overboard. But also, I don't think I did. So... I have basically, I think, 25 superstars here. Some are off to the sides that you can't really see. But I want to dive into this because I think this is one of the most interesting men's rumbles ever, which I think could be one of the best surprise rumbles, but I also think it could be just complete just trash. And that is for reason number one, um, and I just, I don't, I hate even putting this guy on the screen again. But I've heard rumors that Goldberg could lose his WWE title shot, but then win the Rumble and challenge Roman. Which, like, please, God, no. Don't let this happen. But Goldberg's going away. I don't want to talk about it. don't want to see it. Um, and then the other possibility, and this one I think is a 50-50 shot, but just to get him off the screen, I think Brock could come back and win. Um, would I like to see that? Eh, not really, but it does make a lot of sense. So I don't know if he's ready to go. I don't know if, what the deal is with his contract or anything like that, but I think that's a possibility, but let's rule that out for now. So now we have it down to the guys that I think will be in it. Um, so let's get rid of the ones that are confirmed that I do not think have a shot to win. Rey Mysterio, love him, one in an 06, no chance. Um, Elias, no chance. Uh, we got over here, 
King Corbin, no chance. Granted, I do like King Corbin. Let me, I'm one of the few uh, rarities that do. Mustafa Ali, I think they're gonna, I mean, he won't win, but I think they're gonna do something interesting with uh, the Kofi storyline. I don't know if Kofi's cleared, but I don't know if like Woods will throw him out or, so, or something. Something's gonna happen with Ali where he's gonna keep claiming Kofi has screwed him. And I'm hoping they're building to a WrestleMania match because that would be flipping incredible. But he's not winning the Rumble. We can get into all those speculations later, but no, that's not the place for this. Woods, not going to win. I do love Woods, though. Uh, Mr. Money in the Bank. The Miz. He, as funny as it would be to see him have Money in the Bank and a Royal Rumble, no chance. So now we're starting to comb it down a little bit. Uh, let's keep combing it down. I do think Seth Rollins will return. Don't think he's going to win, though. So let's push him off to the side. Matt Riddle, bro. I don't know if he's actually in it or not, but I think he probably is. It depends on what happens with that U.S. title. Oops, excuse me. Uh, what happens with that U.S. title match. But not winning. Bobby, I think they could do... I don't know. This is me in my fantasy booking world. Bobby loses U.S. title and wins the Rumble. But no, he's not going to do that. So we've combed it down more. Uh, Jinder, I think, is all but a lock to be at the Rumble. But not going to win. Samoa Joe might return, but not going to win. Um, our favorite protester, Sami Zayn, not going to win. So now we're getting into the nitty gritty. Dolph, not going to win. I would love to see him win, but he's not going to. Jeff Hardy, not going to win. So now we've got it pretty much down. We've got a good group here that's left. And I think these are the realistic, realistic potential winners. Oh yeah, and I think John Cena could return, but... And I think if, if he returns, I think he could win it. I don't know. But just the thought. I, it, hear me out on it. I think he could return, but who knows. But I'm not going to put him in my final grouping. He's not my... I mean, I, I don't know. I'm still kind of torn. I do think Brock Lesnar is probably my pick. Uh, but it's hard to pick him when it's not even an official like entrant yet. So uh, these are the guys that are officially declared that I think have the best shot at winning. Now, Randy Orton, I think he's too wrapped up in the Fiend storyline. I don't think that eliminates him. Um, Braun returning last night kind of threw a wrinkle in things, and I hate to say it, but the way he dismantled the Cesaro at the end of that match, I think that rules out Cesaro's push, which sucks. Um, so now we got basically every guy that was in that match last night. Uh, that super colossal... No, oh, I forgot Otis. Mm, I guess, who cares? Um, so now we got, what, five guys left? Uh, AJ, I don't think he's going to win. Uh, I wouldn't be upset about it, but I don't think he's going to. Down to four. Bronze return was huge. Do I think he's going to win the Rumble, though? Mm, I hope not. Um, so down to three. And I think these three all have unique stories to tell and unique ways that they could do this. <sighs> Big E, I would like to see him win it, but I just don't think story-wise they're there quite yet. So I'm going to eliminate him from this idea. That leaves us with Daniel Bryan and Shinsuke, which, like, both incredible options. Um, but that's what worries me, though. That I, I just, I don't trust WWE to go through with this right now. Which I think is why the Goldberg thing freaks me out, because I think that's a likely situation. Or Brock Returns, I think that's a likely situation. But realistically, I think you could go well either way. Daniel Bryan has been pushing the story of, the, like, this is the one last shot. Which, I, and then maybe gives them a really, that might give them one last push for him. I don't know. Shinsuke, he's finally really back to his uh, roots. But he has already won a Rumble, so it's just... <sighs> I don't know, but what do you guys think? I think my pick is going to be Shinsuke. Sorry, Daniel. I would just love to see it, but 
let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with my predictions? I would love to hear your thoughts. Who do you guys think is going to show up and be a surprise? Um, and do you think my theories are totally crazy about Brock or Goldberg or any of it? But till next time, guys, enjoy the Rumble Sunday night. It's going to be a blast. I think truly it's going to be one of the most unpredictable uh, shows in general of the year, which WWE has not done a great job with. But enjoy. I think it's going to be a blast. See y'all.